Oh, my favorite. Okay. <laughs> it's like timing for music. Yeah, sure. Ooh. <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati. It's Les Nessman coming okay. at you. <laughs> probably uh, a little too old for you. You probably don't. Yeah, know I don't is. know what's in yeah. this lesson. Okay, so this is how this works. All right. Um, we pop on three. All right. How fast you gonna count? So, do you want to count, or should Ooh, I count? I'm a cheater to win, so you probably should count. You want me to count? Yeah, you can count. Go for, go for it. Okay. Um. So, one, two. Yeah. Three. Yeah, I waited. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> um so first off would you introduce yourself and let people know who you are what yeah just introduce yourself sure so uh i'm adam rice and uh i am a uh, power lifter trying to the goal is to eventually go pro uh so this year will be one of the biggest years I'll have. Uh, so how, how far back you want me to go as far as like this stuff goes? I mean, not super far, just kind of. Okay. So uh, so we'll just go with I. I started trying to go for this goal last year. Did a few competitions last year to get the feel for what it was like. And uh, this year I'll make a pretty big push <laughs> to uh, to go pro. Um, there's a couple good organizations out there where you can go pro. Um, I'll probably be pushing with uh, US, I think it's USPA. Um, but to get USA Powerlifting, I did that one at the end of last year. Uh, they're also kind of another like professional group to go through. Not sure why there's a hair on the microphone. Uh, probably Eileys. Well, yeah. I don't know. We've had the last two guests have been other girls, so who knows? <laughs> Could be anybody's hair. Yeah. But uh, that's kind of the rundown for the most part. Just a short version of it there. Awesome. So, ah, so um, second question is, do you have any interesting things that happened to you this week? Or just any interesting stories uh, recently? Not really. Um, this week's been pretty slow for me. I'm just resting for this comp. So I have a, my next competition's actually tomorrow tomorrow morning uh in evansville uh, it'll be for the indiana state championship um so really i've actually had a pretty light week it's been my short week at work and uh no working out just relaxing and getting ready for this competition so there's uh nothing really i mean at w work's always interesting and different i guess <laughs> <laughs> right right very nice yeah my jobs have been melancholy this week so far so yeah no nothing interesting from this end i'm just gonna nod my head and pretend like i know what melancholy means so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember i'm a meathead I don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um we will move on to our questions okay I believe we have quite a few loaded up already. Super high tech. We got okay. seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got seven already. Oh, no. So, okay. What is our best fish fishing stories, I suppose, from both of us? Oh, wow. It depends what you're looking for. Funny or quantity or quality <laughs> they're all they're, they're all over the place you know uh man i mean this isn't necessarily a, a fishing story as much as a camping story which i actually told at danny's wedding yeah i know because it was because it's my favorite <laughs> yeah uh, tell event. it and so i mean we were fishing for most of the day we decided to camp out at uh, your parents place uh back by the river we set up tents and uh Danny, which you need to get him on here if he comes back home. Oh, for sure. Uh, he's very funny. He likes to play pranks and jokes. And and uh, so there's uh, another friend of the family, and you were both in the tent, right? Yes. And so Danny catches a bullfrog <laughs> and throws it into the tent. And uh, <laughs> uh, the, 
uh, your friend that was in there started to kind of freak out a little bit over the frog <laughs> and the tent actually collapses. So <laughs> you just see two people moving around in this tent trying to find the zipper to get out. It caused the frog to poop <laughs> in the tent because everybody's freaking out. Probably got stepped on more than likely. And oh, uh, <laughs> it smelled bad in the tent. It was so bad. And I think you guys ended up staying in Danny's SUV mm-hmm. <laughs> instead. Oh, it was so bad <laughs> because the frog pooped all over our sleeping bags and everything. So they smelled so bad. So we were just freezing in that car all night. We yeah. did not sleep at all, man. I, I, you know, I've I've uh, <laughs> I've camped out at your parents' house a handful of times, and I never sleep good. Oh, it yeah. just gets worse the older you get. <laughs> you know, I can feel every bump on the ground. Uh, through the tent and my sleeping bag, I, I, and my back hurts, kills me. I'm always <laughs> cold. It's never a good time, to be honest with you. <laughs> Mo- uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the time I don't sleep camping either. But, I mean, I get at least, like, four hours or something yeah, like that. Yeah, four, not good, but four, right. for sure. But, like, that night I didn't get anything. Oh, I, I always try to stay up as, as late as I can when we do something like that. You know, right. fish, you know, pitch black, uh, you know, start a fire I, I never try to go to bed early or try right. to actually get any sleep right of so course it's not going to be right quality. that's not the goal <laughs> right uh and i remember so so like the last time uh we had camped out there uh danny was back home uh with his wife I, uh, yeah i think they were married at that point in time i don't think i don't think she came back home with them and they weren't married were they they weren't married yet yeah, we, they were when, the last time we went camping. Yeah, because remember he proposed to her that while they were here. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so they weren't married. Yet. I re- I remember uh, I stayed actually up on the hill. You guys stayed actually down by the river. Right. I woke up basically same scenario I just talked about. I, I was hurting. I was cold. I got in my jeep and started turning the heat on full blast and slept <laughs> a couple hours in there. And I come down to the river. You guys are all still just out. Nobody's moving. Nobody's awake. And there is a giant catfish on the jug, oh. and I pull it in, and I'm yelling at you guys, "Get up, get up! We got you know." Right. And the yeah. sun's up. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, how are you still sleeping at this point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had four people in that tent, so we were pretty. Toasty yeah, you definitely there. warm. Yeah, yeah, I was the only one in my own tent freezing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite fishing story is also kind of a camping story, but definitely fishing involved so danny again me and danny because we just fish probably in every story I'm yeah gonna we camped and fished for like an entire spring just straight fit like we had the tent out there the whole spring and then we would just go in there whenever we could which was multiple times a week generally i don't know how he did that because he was working like six twelves and then he would uh, yeah. and swing shift and then he would still show up every day practically you can you can do that when you're young yeah you can do that he can i can't uh, you I could if you, had to, if you had the drive to do it yeah you know, right. I, I did the same thing i worked seven days a week swinging shifts but, you know, before i was married and still had the energy to go out and do stuff man uh you know you, you go to work on two hours of sleep it don't matter but <laughs> now i need like eight ten four. <laughs> yeah so danny had gotten there before me i wasn't home yet and so i by the time i got home it was probably like 9 30 10 o'clock pitch black and we had our tent set up you know far away from the house like like a third of a mile walk probably okay. in total something like that and uh so i start heading out there in pitch black I decided not to take a flashlight with me in order, in hopes that he wouldn't see me or hear me. And it had rained a little bit that evening, so it was nice and damp. He couldn't hear me at all. And um, so I walked down there, and he I, he did not hear me. And we had our fishing poles set up to where the fishing pole's inside the tent, but the, you know, the line goes outside, and the pole's sticking outside the tent, right, so there's right. just the line there. And... You know, you have the drag set on it, so it clicks real loud when something grabs it, right? So I grab the line, and I start, you know, just just yeah, barely yeah. ticking it. And he, you know, and then eventually he grabs it, and then I, you know, I started pulling it harder, and, <laughs> and he starts freaking out. Goes, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so he starts reeling it in. He unzips the tent to take, oh, right, we had that, uh, 
alarm on it. You yeah. remember those little alarms? Yeah, yeah. So he unzips the tent and sticks his hand out to grab that alarm. And I grabbed his hand. <laughs> and he lost it, dude. Because he didn't. You know, he didn't right. expect something to grab his hand. That's great. And he just lost it. And oh, that's that fun. was a lot of fun. And then that same night, we stayed up like all night because we kept having the, we don't know what was probably turtles playing with it or something, but something would drag it out a little bit and then it would never bite, you know. And... Something came up to the tent. We still don't know what it was and started like slapping the tent. And we think it was like a bobcat or something like that or maybe a raccoon, but we uh, don't know. But it it came up and started slapping the tent and they like guys have the a, slapping. Did you guys have a fire down there? Like a, like Probably. a campfire? Did you guys cook anything? I don't remember. Because I have to imagine that like, if you cook something on right. a campfire, then you know they smell food. Would come right. Around. But if it's just a fire, I wouldn't imagine anything coming up to the tent. Right. Like that. Right, exactly. But, I mean, never so, know. I mean, we always had like a million snacks in the tent. Right. Because we just chowed on... If it's just like... like Cookies all night. Yeah, I don't know if they could really you know, smell the inside of the tent. That doesn't really create an odor outside. Like if you're cooking in that, I mean, that just goes everywhere for yeah. animals around but i mean who knows i guess right exactly yeah not, i'm not saying they wouldn't pass up a little debbie but <laughs> right exactly <You> know? <laughs> and we just slapped back at it whatever it was and it scampered off huh, huh. we never knew what it was it should have been men <laughs> opened up went outside <laughs> yeah we were you know, get your knife out get ready for some rambo stuff you know? <laughs> okay Question number two. Favorite superhero and why? Then favorite villain and why? Oh, wow. Hmm. What's the squint for? There's more behind the question, but I'm... It says, he would prefer to be a villain, just FYI, if you can think of a question pertaining to that. Which I don't. So, so are they just wanting more of a villain thing? Right. So I guess what's your favorite villain? I don't. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, for people who know me, they know it's Venom. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, you know, we had the Spider-Man game, and uh, Venom was actually uh, they had the Carnage version, and you could, uh, you know, it was on a Sega, I believe. So they actually had like the Carnage version of Spider-Man, where you could be Carnage and Venom and uh, of course, the comic books. When I was a kid, were yeah, you know, I was real big into Venom. Uh, he came. They came out with their. Uh, he came out with his own series, which I actually still have all of them, uh, in like perfect condition. Um, the series for Venom had like a little short series, like oh, six, I think like six comic books. But uh, I'd say Venom, and mainly just I thought he was the coolest. Like when I was a kid, you know. Uh, so when I was a kid, which. But, uh, you know, for you, you uh, it's probably not even a thing anymore. They they call it something else, maybe. But they had like chat rooms uh-huh. where strangers could just. I yeah. mean, you could literally just meet strangers and talk about nothing. I mean, right. just uh, no reason. Which I guess right. they still have that, but it's more like video chat now instead of right. Well, now they typing. have Omegle and stuff right. like that. Yeah. Right. So I like my name on those would always be some form of Venom. Right. Is that why you still have Metallic Venom? Yes. Yeah. Something to yeah. do with you, yeah. Yeah, I mean that. So that's my favorite band, Metallica, when I was in high school, uh-huh. and my favorite, you know. So it's Venom, Metallica, Venom, you know. So that, yeah, that was uh, kind of behind that. I mean, superhero wise, <sighs> there's so many to pick from. To be honest with you, I like a lot of them. I, I guess I'd probably have to go Batman, which I know is a, a very <laughs> common one to always say. You know, everybody goes to Batman or Superman, but I think Batman's stupid. <laughs> I, I mean, he it really is, but like the storyline's always cool. You know, right. uh, you know, uh, with Batman and, and Robin, you know, I, and the, the villains in that, you know, Joker and yeah, uh, you know, one one I was really hoping to see like with these new Batman movies is for them to do the Mad Hatter. That's like the one villain that hmm. they haven't really ever done. Uh, in a movie, you know, you get the, you get Penguin, you get Joker, you get Catwoman, you know, we had Mr. Freeze at one point in time, the Riddler, but you don't have Mad Hatter. That would be a really cool one to do, but I don't know if they ever will. 
Interesting. So for me, are we doing super villains or it just says villain? It says it says superhero and then it just says villain. Well, who's just a villain? Well, like what my is... favorite villainous personality is like Moriarty from okay. Sherlock. I, I kind of see that because you want a different route. So yeah. I'm still kind of in like the superhero universe. Right. So. Right. I mean, that's like... Gotcha. I don't know. I don't generally like the villains in superhero. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. oh, I like Thanos. You know, yeah, like yeah, you're uh, it's, <laughs> your moral compass is correct. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine's kind of wavy a little bit when it comes to that type of stuff. I like some of the villains, you know, and especially some cool ones. You know, uh-huh. uh, you got a superhero then. So you had a super villain. So yes, or, favorite superhero man. There's a lot to pick from. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm going to be basic and say Captain America. Okay. I mean, I like Captain America. America. I like Captain America, too. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I liked his comic books growing up, too. And, you know, the movie that came out, or the movies with him in it, you know, aren't, they're they're pretty good, too. Um, But, yeah, you know, (laughs) what superhero can you name that's not, like, a common one that everybody likes, (laughs) you know? Right. I don't know. I really like Wonder Woman. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. Yeah, I, I, like, I like Batgirl. <laughs> it's like Superman, except more powerful, and she's a woman for some reason. Right, which is more uh, empowering, right? <laughs> we'll probably have to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number three. We have a lot of questions today, so oh, wow. we can get through this. That's strange. Um. Yeah, that is strange. Um, I'm the most popular person so far, then, right? <laughs> all right. What was the happiest year of your life? Oh man, happiest year. That's a deep question. There, <laughs> I had a lot of happy years. <sighs> He's just wondering if Kayla's going to listen yeah. to this or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely, that's a happy year. Of course, birth of. My kids are happy year. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to say the the year prior to being married to Kayla would, would you know, my wife would actually have to be it because that's when I pretty much got established at work. You know, I'm working full time, making enough money to live on my own. I move out. I get my own place. Uh, me and Kayla are dating at that point in time, I think. And then that year we do get engaged. So we will eventually be married the following year. Right. So I'd probably say that one. Uh, right. That's you know, a lot of my, A lot of my friends are all still very close at that point in time, like mm-hmm. from high school even. It's kind of before we all had our own families and really just did our own thing. So, you know, I still had a lot of, a lot of close friends that were around. We we're still hanging out at that point in time. And then probably like two years later, like this when everybody just kind of went their own way, really. Everybody got married, had kids, jobs, didn't have time. Right. Yeah, it's so, a lot of fun. That's exciting times. Yeah. Uh, and your short lifespan. What, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite? <laughs> What's your best? Well, you know, <laughs> I haven't had very many exciting years What's your favorite birthday? Can we go with that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is probably the best year of my life, like where I'm happiest with myself. Is that first year of like adulthood for you? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, graduation and yeah. got a job. And I mean, yeah, just, I'm just enjoying yeah. life yeah. right now. Yeah. I'm in a good mental space. Yeah. I'm working a lot. And, you know, I'm just very focused. So, you know, I go to work, go to the yeah. gym. Go to my second job, go home, work on the podcast, go to bed, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. and it's just kind of a I mean, that, that's, good, I'm in a good rhythm and I feel like I'm accomplishing things. So, right. yeah, I will have to say that, you know, I remember being that, you know, so like, like kind of talking about like my, my best year or whatever, you know, when, uh, you know, getting established at work and all, and all that stuff, you know, mm-hmm. you feel as a younger person, you feel accomplishment from that. I'd right. say personally for me, I feel less and less as time goes on. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, you know, you kind of get the, uh, you know, unless you work somewhere that really appreciates the workers, mm-hmm. you know, it, you can do as much as you can, but, but really you don't feel it. You don't see right. the appreciation. So you, you, you kind of get less and less like, Oh yeah, put a good day in today. I feel accomplished today. Like, <laughs> 
You're like, yeah. Eh, you know, you get, it becomes now, well, I, I showed up on time today and I got yeah. to leave on time today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's also motiv- <clears throat> motivating right now because, like, you know, you're saving up to buy a house, saving right. up to, you know, just, you know, I'm starting with no money and so right. I'm like gaining some wealth finally. You know, it's right. Yeah. That's well, I, motivating I that. too. Absolutely. You know? And then, yeah. then it becomes you have a house, now you got to keep it up. Right, exactly. And, and that, that, see, and that, <laughs> that also, is not as so, exciting yeah, because then it also lessens. Like now, I, oh, I got to pay for a new roof. Oh, I got to put siding or oh, I want to paint something. You know, it, it all just changes as you get older. Like all these new exciting things become things you're not really that excited about anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for sure. Yep. Question number five. Five. I don't know. I'm not keeping count, to be honest. Me, I don't usually keep count. I just ask them, but I'm. I don't know why I am today because we have so many. Usually. I am gonna, I am gonna throw this out there right quick because I, I had told you about it. But yeah, uh, for, for the it. guys on, you know, anybody on YouTube watching this, uh, just the listeners on Spotify, uh, you just only be able to hear it. But so I have some. Uh, <laughs> yeah, screw the audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I have some smelling salts here uh, that we use in uh, powerlifting. Uh, if you ever watch powerlifters or like the uh, strongman competitions, they actually have like the little pieces that they snap and and smell. But this is actually like in a canister. You shake and open the lid and smell it. Uh, I'm gonna have Jason try it here at the end to, when we wrap stuff up, just to see what he thinks of it. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you feel about cars? That's a very generic question. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not really into them myself, but yeah, I, I wish we could go back to like riding horses. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love car. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not a car guy. Me either. Like, I'm not like these guys that wants, like, a bunch of sports cars. And, right. You know, uh, I like having a, a nice truck. Uh, this is really the the first year I've had, like, a really nice truck. Yeah. And what I mean by that is just, like, newer. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, usually I have, like, older four-wheel drive trucks. You yeah. know, that are kind of you know, rusty, run down, a lot of miles. You know, so this is the first year I've actually had, like, a really nice truck. So as far as cars go, I mean, in the general sense, I love cars. Because I don't like walking. Right. <laughs> I'm a power For lifter. Sure. I'm not uh, a sprinter of any kind. So <laughs> I'd love being able to drive to work in like five seconds. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could care less what my car looks like as long as I'm comfortable on the inside. Right. And, you know, like the heater and AC works and it drives and I don't have to fix it all the time. It could look as crappy as you want on the outside as long as I'm comfortable inside. and Right. I'm, Got nice seats and a decent stereo system. And oh, we're worried about stereo system. Yeah, you'll lose that too when you get older. You yeah. won't care. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Maybe. I, I agree to a certain point, but uh, the outside, I'm a little different on. If I go for a job interview, then I'd be like, crap, I need a nice no, car. No, but... not, 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 not. I don't <laughs> want to pull up to the gas station and, and early in the morning going to work and somebody think I'm some crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> or or I guess in this area, meth head getting gas, yeah, you know, for sure. Uh, so they I don't can't afford it. crack here. <laughs> yeah, a little too expensive. <laughs> and now I, I you have know, a story about that. But <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is where Jason comes out about doing drugs. <laughs> 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 Just joking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Real short story. So, um, me and some friends were doing a hay ride, and. Uh, so we brought some crack. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are driving by this house that's very close to them, like a neighbor of them. Mm-hmm. And they just, you know, their house is all destroyed and cars everywhere. And, you know, and they were like crackheads. And, you know, they, they like, they were like, those are the crackheads kind of. Oh, and yeah. I was like, oh, they're not rich enough to be crackheads. And then. <laughs> They like poked their heads up. They were working on a car like <laughs> no. right next to the road there, yeah. and they like almost for sure heard me say that. Oh wow! And I'm like, <laughs> oh no! On the hay ride, just kept going. I don't. <laughs> that's I don't funny. care. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like you, they probably didn't really hear you. They just looked up because somebody's coming by yeah. on a hay ride, and it just happens to be the same timing when you said something. <laughs> right. It just... That happens all the time. Like you're like. I've been in a lot of situations where you'll say something like that and then somebody will turn around, but you're like, and you think, oh, they heard me, but they probably really didn't. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I could care less. That's funny. But yeah. Um, so yeah, cars, 
I'm not. Yeah, huge fan of cars. Just uh, yeah, you know, I getting love from them. point A to B. Uh, <laughs> Fun memories from when you were little. How many you want? <laughs> I had a yeah, great one. childhood. Just I mean, one. One? One. F- I mean, if you have like multiple that are quick, but maybe if you have like one really good story, then that would be great. Oh, man. Goodness. This will be have to be an edit part because it's going to take me a minute to think of something. Cause I, oh, that's fine. I mean. Or I can um, advertise my new. Yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you advertising Sprite? Like, they're, they're already out there, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just came up with this thing. It's called Lemon Lime Zero Sugar. You should try it out. Yeah, I um, got one too. Yeah, <laughs> Drinking it for years. Uh, I don't know, man. I got a lot of uh, good memories, but I don't think anybody wants to hear about. <laughs> I mean, they're all boring. You know, I mean, they're great for right. me. Right. You know, had great times with my, my grandparents and my parents. But, I mean, as far as, like, I'll tell you what, I'll do one different. I have a traumatizing childhood memory okay. <laughs> that we're going to do instead because That's fine. those stick a lot harder in your head. Yeah, than, for like, sure. Good times. Definitely. Yeah. Um, unless good times are in short demand in your life, then you remember those, I guess. Yeah. Um, but so my uh, dad grew up in the hills of Kentucky, and we went to go visit my uncle who technically still had a house. And he literally lived on the side of this mountain. It's like just you a one lane. You say technically still had a house? Well, he doesn't live there anymore. Okay. So, and uh, so we're going up the side of this this mountain. You know, it's a one lane road. And I've always was worried when we ride four wheelers. Because like, where, is any, where are you going to go? There's, there's no room to get over anywhere. Uh-huh, it's literally right. one lane. So we're visiting him one weekend. And I'm outside by myself. And this dog comes up and i mean it acts like it wants to attack me i mean very aggressive and so i'm backing up a very steep hill into the woods use basically almost holding on the trees to push up because it's so steep and it's trying to kind of get up but it's sliding back down with all the leaves and the mud and i'm kicking at it when it gets kind of close and i mean it looks like it's trying to get me you know, that's, that's at least how I remember it. I mean, you know, I was also a little bit, I wasn't little, but I was quite a bit younger. And I mean, it was really trying and aggressive and growling and slobbering all the place trying to get to me. Like it wasn't like an excited dog wanting to be pet, you know, it wasn't like, like pet me, pet me jumping on me. I mean, it was like really aggressively trying to get to me and I'm screaming, you know, for my dad to come outside, you know, I mean, they got guns, do something, you know, (laughs) and I'm yelling and yelling. I'm like, man, like, like I feel like I I was out there for a while, just like trying uh-huh. to defend this dog off, uh, and my dad finally does come outside and grabs the dog and pretty much throws him, and and the dog takes <laughs> off, and uh, I mean my heart's racing. You know, I thought I was gonna be like mauled by this dog, right? Which it does happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, it wasn't like it was happy to see me wanting to be pet, you know, and right. like jumping on me that way. I mean, it was very aggressive seeming to me, anyways. Right. For sure. I have a good story along that vein. Um, so I was like, I have, I don't know how old I was. I think I was like five or somewhere around that age. And I was out fishing on like the far corner of the lake, you know, at the, at the corner of the L. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm just out there fishing. And have you ever heard turkeys do the thump thing yeah like with it mm-hmm. and so i heard that and i had no idea what it was i was uh, five right yeah, I was yeah. Like, what is that and then this tom turkey comes running out of the woods charging at me oh really yeah and oh. so i just dropped you know i threw my fishing right. pole and ran ran home crying <laughs> i didn't know what i mean <laughs> this mess freaky. i mean it was like as tall as i was i'm gonna be, honest, be freaky now as an yeah. adult i mean <laughs> i've never had a turkey charge you yeah know, that's weird it felt like it was like almost as big as me when i was well they also puff five up, yeah you know, so it was it freaked me out dude well yeah like i said it would freak me out now at this age yeah you know i mean i've been out and you know i grew up out in the woods hunting and stuff and I've, you know, I've been turkey hunting and everything else. I've never had a turkey come at, like, they go the other way. Right, you know? right, exactly. So to have one charge would definitely be free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Be trying to shoot and be shooting all over the place. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
I can't hit it. <laughs> yeah, I, I really noticed, like, how bad I would be in war. Like, have you ever played Airsoft? Yeah, and- absolutely. Yeah, I mean, well, Danny, we played all the time. Right, yeah. yeah. I played recently with some friends, and we're using, like, you know, the higher-powered ones with batteries and everything. Ooh, like, they yeah. stick in your skin. Oof. And uh, you flinch. Ba- like, someone you don't expect them there, they... Oh, you yeah. like and it's like dude i would have just died if i was you know if i was in real war i should have stayed right but it really brings out your human nature i I, I don't know if it really does because if it was a real well you'd be gun, dead already you know but like yeah i mean i don't I, i'm just saying you're supposed to keep your composure and right i you think I, uh, you can kind of put that in that direction but not fully i don't think and, right. unless it's really unless it really comes down to actually actual warfare then i don't think you really know how you're going to act like if it's right. truly life and death versus playing a game i think it'd be mm-hmm. a little different yeah um okay okay man we got some questions today okay what is your favorite workout slash muscle to target uh I'd have to say like uh like my so my favorite workout is when I do bench what I call my bench day and uh, so that's you know chest and, and like the basically the front of your shoulders here and it also works your triceps uh, bench has always kind of been my favorite mainly because of it uh right. through high school I always excelled at bench press more than anything else uh you know in high school I got the bench press record in two weight classes light heavyweight and then heavyweight um and so I just always excelled at it a little bit more. And I kind of lost it a little bit doing these competitions. I started kind of, uh, my weight kept going up as far as what I could lift, but not as fast as the, the you know, squat and deadlift. But now this one has really jumped uh, since last time. I've really hit a nice little little upward swing for bench. So, But I enjoy bench press more than probably anything else. I would agree with that. I mean, not like I have tons of experience, but I mean, I've been right. doing it a couple of years and yeah. it's the most fun. You know, it feels the most rewarding. You yes. get a new number. It's, you know, it's just a lot of fun to bench. Yeah. And, and I think like with the other lifts, like squat, you know, I don't, it's my least favorite. So I don't like having that much weight on my back and right. my, my knees are iffy from years of squatting and football and you know i was super overweight for a a long time um so the you know my knees definitely just they're they always worry me they're my back of my head you know Mm -hmm. uh, when i'm squatting um so squat i'm not super thrilled about doing not as pumped right deadlift is fun i do really enjoy deadlifting um but I, I definitely say I have to be just a really close second place behind bench press mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. I feel like bench is a pretty, a decently low risk yeah. workout too, compared to like deadlift or something. Well, it, it can till you get to the higher weights. Because uh-huh. you can, you can uh, you know, guys have ripped their shoulders right. and stuff yeah. because their, yeah, yeah, their yeah. form isn't correct. Yeah. You know, yeah. If you ever elbows flared out, which I actually had some issues with that uh, as we started getting the higher weights, and my shoulder would start to ache across this muscle here. Mm-hmm. And then uh, my trainer helped me. You know, he's like, "Hey, you know, get your elbows in a little more." And then it it doesn't you know it doesn't hurt anymore. But you know, if I was doing that and continued to push heavy weight, I would it would eventually give out. You know, yep. probably rip or tear. Yeah, technique is so important. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah, it's vital. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for people who want to start working out and build their body like you? Like me. So. Well, like, you know, like you do as so, in heavy lifting. So if we're going to go that route of power lifting, um, uh, for me, you definitely need to look at form. Uh, form is, is huge when it comes to when you're going to heavier weights. Um, diet is another huge thing you got going on over there. Just I'm laughing at the questions. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, diet is is another huge thing. Whenever you get into it, so I try to get anywhere from 200 grams of protein or more a day, which um, is tough. So I mean, everything I eat has protein in it. I mean, mm-hmm. we're literally talking. Uh, you know, I'm not huge on breakfast because like it takes a while for my stomach to wake up in the morning. Sometimes sometimes I wake up hungry. It's it's a real give and take. But 
normally I'm not really that hungry, but it, I get 20 grams of protein in every meal or snack. But we're talking I eat breakfast, there's a snack in between, I have lunch, there's a snack in between, there's dinner. Sometimes I have a snack before bed, but all of them have protein in it. All of them have 20 grams or more. So, you know, my snack has in between breakfast and lunch has 50 grams. Lunch usually has 50 grams or more. You know, the snacks usually have 20 to 30. And then, you know, dinner, again, you know, we're talking about another 50, 60 uh, grams of protein. So, you know, your diet's a huge thing. You know, uh, for building muscle, you got to have that protein. You got to have carbs for energy, um, but you can overdo it on carbs and fats, you know, and gain more fat than muscle, uh, which I tried not to get too many carbs and too many fats. Um, But as far as lifting goes, uh, you know, Getting your form, there's tons of videos on YouTube. You look up power lifting bench press, power lifting right. squats, power lifting deadlift, and and there's a lot of great form things on there. Uh, and if you want to compete, the best thing is to do is just sign up and and try to comp- and just go and see what it's like. Like don't go there expecting to win, right? You know, or even place, but go there and and sign up and see what it's like. And, you know, that was my first one. I was so nervous because I just, I didn't know what it was like. I did right. compete in high school, but, you know, it had been so many years since I competed. You know, I didn't know anybody. You know, I did find out that one of my buddies used to, to compete, and that's who my trainer is now. But my my form was horrible, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> uh, deadlift, when he helped me, I went from doing like 385 to like 450 with just a form change man so i mean you know you really gotta make sure the form is correct and for me uh, i have certain days where like so monday's a squat day or slash leg day and so i pretty much just wear my legs out so i do squat uh and then i'll do like a five second squats so it's where you will squat really slow and you count five seconds all the way to the bottom. It should take you five seconds to the bottom and five seconds back up. You know, so I'll do a set of those and I do front squats and goblet squats, you know, so I just wear my legs out and then bench press, same thing. I do a bunch of different chest and shoulder stuff, deadlifts. I do, you know, basically I do the main lift and plus anything extra that helps those same muscles and just, just wear it out. And I only do it once a week, you know, and then I do arms in between like biceps and stuff. And then, you know, so stuff like that, but you know, it's just getting out there, finding some videos of some good guys who who can do some powerlifting. Just yeah. to you gonna sip right your sip yeah. your mic. You, you know, you did that in your last one too. I know. I don't know what. It's just they're both in my hands, and it's confusing. <laughs> I mean, I can go on for days when it comes to this this type of stuff. So I don't want to fill it up full of that stuff. But <laughs> you know, YouTube is a, a is a huge help. I did not have yeah. that when I was younger. You know, but right. you guys have a lot of outlets to find some really good form yep. stuff. And that's with just about everything, like oh, yeah. even making this podcast and stuff. Like you don't know how to do anything on your own, kind of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I learned most stuff on my own. Like I just spent hours just fiddling with it till I figured it out. Yeah. But now I just when I have a question, then I just Google it. Oh, and I, it's right I there, do it immediately. You know? I, yeah. I don't even I don't even think about it. <laughs> and I think it's it's making me dumb. Right, you know, well, with, see, with spell that's... check, with with spell check, and like <laughs> voice, you know, te- voice to text. If I if it catches a word wrong, but it's close in spelling, I won't even catch it when I reread it. But then I go, oh, it's voice text, but really, I didn't catch it either. <laughs> so it, I think it just it's making me really dumb. <laughs> yeah, to do this stuff. Yeah, when figuring out how to do it on my own really ingrained it in my brain. Mm-hmm. So like when I'm doing music stuff. Like, I can just find, every, like, I just instantly know how to get there and how to do it. Right. Where if I just watch the video, then I have to, like, watch it again because I just forget yeah. tomorrow, you know. Yeah. yeah, you put the video to the side while you're doing it. <laughs> like, every, <laughs> right. every time. You've been doing it for, like, a year, still got to go back and look. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do this, of course, but what's your middle name? Who wants to know that? I don't know. It's very weird. I just it's it's David. I don't care that you know anybody knows that, but uh it's kind interesting. Of a strange question. Mine is Rory, which is hard for me to Jason say. Rory tune. Rory. Rory. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Probably probably they probably did that when you were a baby. Rory. You probably did. I don't remember <laughs> it though. Um yeah, I okay. think it's fine. Okay. 
I just didn't know if it Yeah, was. but I, I I always turn it off because it makes me nervous. Okay. But yeah. Um, favorite hobby besides bodybuilding slash powerlifting? All right, I'm going to straighten something right now. It's not bodybuilding for me. Yeah, that's I. Uh, if if you, that's I don't what you see the on camera, says. I'm not a bodybuilder. Uh, just <laughs> just a <laughs> that's power what, lifter. That's what the question said. That's why I said okay. it. But I. That's why I said definitely too lifting. chunky. Yeah. Uh, to to be a bodybuilder. By the way, <laughs> I'll never get that cut or lean. So I like food too much. Uh, I mean, as far as hobbies go, man. I mean, I guess fishing, fishing would be yeah. next. You know, and honestly, since I have put a lot of time into power lifting now i've hardly ever fish yep uh i Me used either. to fish all the time uh and any free time i had i was fishing <clears throat> and i wore it out but since i have found power lifting again uh i literally spend you know if it's my day off i get up in the morning and i go work out and then by the time i'm done working out it's time to pick the kids up from school I just I don't have the time or put yeah. forth any side time to fish anymore, or or even hunt for that matter. I, I really don't. I got a buddy that gave me I don't twenty pounds of deer meat the other day. So I mean I don't even have to <laughs> hunt anymore just right. to get yeah you know to have anything like that. So yeah, yeah I, I'd say fishing is probably a close second behind that. Yeah, you know I've really fallen off fishing since Danny moved and since you're not fishing anymore hardly and. I mean, it's sad because I got great fishing right outside my door. But, yeah. I, I mean, this year I fished, like, maybe once or twice because it was mainly social for me. I don't right. enjoy it that much by myself. Yeah, fishing is and great so, for when you have a friend. You know, yeah. And then I got a, I got a friend that, that really likes fishing over it because you can go and talk and you don't have right. to be super quiet and still. Yeah. And, right, like hunting is yeah. the well, opposite. It depends what you're hunting. But, yeah, for the most right. part, that is most hunting although i've gone hunting too and we just talked the whole time we still shot stuff so you know yeah it really just depends yeah mm. my favorite hobby i guess is basketball probably oh yeah i mean, I mean come on yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> if you picked anything else i would have well music music's up there with it i would say all right but yeah, yeah i mean i spend more like best Get ball is so easy to just get right in to do right then. You know what I'm saying? Versus right. music, like it's work to do anything. So it. <sighs> Have you ever thought about doing a podcast of just you talking about basketball? No. No. You think it'd be silly? I could go on forever. Right. That's what I'm saying, though. I don't know. I mean, who would want to watch people who it? like basketball? Right, but like my subs are like That's not true. here for basketball right. so that doesn't i mean i guess i could start a separate channel and just uh, talk about basketball too Maybe yeah a whole other channel um yeah we're gonna skip that question so for any subscribers who don't really know jason definitely knowledge when it comes to basketball is very very on the high end of knowing things and numbers and stats or at least it used to be i assume he yeah. keeps up with it still but i've fallen like this year's and last year's NBA seasons, I, like, know very little. Okay. Because, like, I used to have, like, the NBA app, and I would, like, look through everything every day. Right. And, like, now I I watched, like, one game this year. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, favorite episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, man, a lot of good ones on that one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, mm. Man, I love uh, I love the uh, was it Bubble World or Balloon World? Uh, glove the, the the glove balloons where they had like the little candy uh -huh. gloves and and they had like the balloons and and I think SpongeBob misses the bus to go back home and they're in like this deep dark part of the ocean where they got the creepy fish and he's freaked out the whole time and he's trying to catch the bus. Uh, to get back home and he keeps missing the bus every time to get back home that's probably one of my favorite ones i think it's glove world yeah i think it was glove world uh and then of course i love the anything christmas in general uh, i definitely love the christmas ones uh but yeah that's probably glove world's probably one of my favorite ones i have a low iq of spongebob episodes so like because like i've watched a lot of spongebob right but i it wasn't like something I was paying attention to very right. heavily. 
So, like, one that sticks in my mind is, uh, you know, I feel like I shouldn't even say this because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be wrong on what, how fine. I'm saying this, describing it. But, like, I remember them catching butterflies, but they're not Jellyfish. called butter. Right. Jellyfish. That's right. Yeah. Okay. See, that's what I was that's like. Fine. That's fine. I There's, knew something was off yeah, there, but I couldn't yeah. figure no it out. Butterflies in the ocean. But. Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> <laughs> my my mental yeah, yeah. was tripping. Wait. Um, still is right now. I can't give now. you crap for not knowing SpongeBob stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's just weird because like I am an advocate for SpongeBob and I love SpongeBob, but I don't right. really know that much about uh, it. You're just a. Uh, I don't know age wise where you'd be at as far as like when it started and, and, and all that stuff. But I mean, I watched it, you know, and I want to say junior high is when it started, you know, for me. So for me through junior high, through high school, even some in adulthood. So <laughs> I've seen a lot of SpongeBob, you know, mm-hmm. um, well, like our, your, uh, movie experience with, uh, Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that was horrible, man. Oh my goodness, that was so nuts. You want me to tell that story? Sure. I'll yeah, tell. Yeah, go it. for it. Uh, so when I was dating Kayla, uh, do they know who Kayla is to you? Uh, Have you ever you probably no. talked about her or anything? Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, you can explain it. So that's that's Jason's aunt. Um, so when we, me and his aunt were. I want to say we were just dating. I don't think we were married yet. Or if we were, it was just in the beginning before we had kids. Jason's uncles would all get together and they have movie night. It would be all the brothers, Kayla, their wives or significant others. And uh, sometimes uh, their parents, uh, like so Kayla's parents would come. And I was talking to Kayla's brother about this new movie that came out, Year One. Now, I don't know how many people out there listening know what that is. But Year One has Jack Black in it. And her brother Nathan's like, oh, yeah, I like Jack Black. He's funny. Blah, blah. He's like, you should bring that movie over. Right? So I'm like, all right. Yeah, cool. You know, not really <laughs> thinking it through, you know, fully. So I bring this movie over. We're watching it. And I'm reading the room as this movie's going on. Nobody's laughing. It looks like nobody's really having a good time, but everybody continues to watch the movie. <laughs> so and I'm like, if, if it's really this bad or offensive, like, shut it off. Uh-huh. Like, say, save me <laughs> <laughs> this, this feeling I'm having, you know. And I'm holding back my laughter because no one else is laughing. <laughs> There's one part in the movie that is so funny to me. I just bust up <laughs> laughing so hard. And if you know the movie, they they go into this room called the Holy of Holies, and this guy breaks a statue. I won't get into any more detail than that. But he breaks a statue. When he comes out, he says, "If you find it like that, it was. If you find a statue broken in there, it was already like that." <laughs> and I just died. I died laughing. And a lot of the jokes kind of are based on the Bible. And right. that's why I think a lot of them found it not offensive. as funny. I don't know if it was, if it was offensive. I, I, I would have thought they would have turned it off. Right. Because you know yeah. Nathan and Rachel and, and yeah. Jesse and all that. You know, I, I feel like, especially like uh, your grandparents, because you know, they were I'm pretty sure Joe and them were there. So I, I would have <laughs> thought that if it was offensive enough to them, they would have just shut it off. Right, you know, but they, de- but I, as I was looking around the room, everybody's still watching the movie. It isn't like they're <laughs> doing something else, or looking away, or just like, oh well, you know, whatever. I'm not interested. They're all zoomed in on the show, but none of them are laughing. You know, and it's not necessarily that. It's not necessarily that it makes fun of the Bible, like the the things in the Bible that happen are happening in this movie, but they try to take a funny side and turn to it. Right. So, I mean, and I can laugh about anything, you know, yeah. uh, there's a lot of things that I just, I don't find offensive. I think are funny. Right. As exactly. long as, as long as it's meant to be in a funny light, I can see it that way. Right. Exactly. So, but yeah. I, I thought that was the last movie night we had. I thought <laughs> I ruined movie night, you know, and I thought that pretty much up to like this last year. 
And I had talked to Jesse and Nathan and either they just don't remember, don't want to tell me that it did. <laughs> but they're like, oh, no, I didn't run. No, I can't remember why we stopped doing that. You know, what I mean, and just it's like, OK, like whatever. Like we didn't watch another movie after that. So I feel like I totally ruined movie night. <laughs> don't invite that guy over anymore. They had like secret movie nights from here on out. <laughs> well, we never got invited to any of them. So you guys were too young, you know, at that right, point in time. But right? like my parents weren't there. You know, and I don't know if they weren't invited or, you know, there's a huge or, age difference between the people that were there and your parents as well. Right. And I don't think anybody had or any kids we could kids have been yet. in Slovakia. It could have been that too, maybe. I don't have time, time, I can't remember what was going on. But if me and Kayla yeah. were just freshly married, then yeah. you guys were in Slovakia. For sure, yeah. Because we had the option of possibly staying at your guys' house. Mm-hmm. So that, that very well could have been the, the time zone that it happened. But Yeah. Yeah, we went to Slovakia in 2010, yeah. I want to say. Yeah. So, yeah. And we got married early 2010, so. Yeah. It's very it's very possible. Um Yeah. Well, oh. The salts. You want to do it now? Mhm. All right. We'll do it. I believe we have run out of questions. Okay. Mhm. Going to be Let's see if we can even get to the bottle because uh, I can already smell it. It's not even. Well, luckily I can't really smell <clears throat> very well. Uh, it's already. I, you don't even need to uh, open it at all. <sighs> Just uh, take your whiff of the top. <laughs> you don't have to even open it. This stuff is strong. Man. <clears throat> I can still smell it. <laughs> It keeps hitting me over here even. It might be in this bag smelling like that even. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what is it So it's, it's supposed to like like open up your pores and really wake, like really get your adrenaline running to, to oh get this next lift. Uh, the first time I tried it, 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 it was rough. But I actually opened the cap and did it, you know. That's uh, we don't see what, we don't see what the cap. I can get a whiff of it without even using the cap. It smells like... If you took cow urine, yes, and powdered it, I mean that's what it smells Ab- like. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Drop that back in. Oh no! <laughs> Spill it on their floor. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, it's yeah. like burning my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like so. It's wild. Oh, man, get this back up. But it's like I can't totally explain it. So uh, it, the warning on it says contains spicy air. And uh, the first time I ever did it, it really just like takes your breath away. Um, yeah. But usually, uh, like I was kind of explaining earlier, like uh, you're going for like a big lift. A lot of guys will use it. It really opens up uh, your nose and everything. And it really kind of gets you like a little more like awake. It like, gets you like in the zone a little bit more sometimes. Um, I've honestly only used it once. And it was the first competition I ever went to. A guy had it. I had kind of been talking to this guy and we've been kind of. We kind of became know, buddies or whatever for that lift, but it was over in Illinois area, and uh, he had some. And I, was like, I asked him if I could try it, so I've never even tried it. And the cap was off. Like, it wasn't like this where the cap was closed. The cap was off, and I, I took way too big of an inhale. I, I didn't, I under, I didn't understand like, right. what was powerful happening. It was. Yeah, and I took a big whiff, and I mean, it was, uh, uh. <laughs> I was like, well, I know I don't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> like if you had COVID, like that's like the one thing you could use to know if you had COVID or not. Right. <laughs> I mean, because my smell's still tainted from that, but like right. that, yeah, I can smell that for sure. And the crazy yeah. part is, uh, that's actually where I caught COVID the first <laughs> time was at <laughs> at, at that competition. <laughs> That opened up your immune system. <laughs> oh yeah, it, oh, probably probably what happened. I used that; it opened up everything in my nose. And I just sucked in some COVID somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it was from that bottle the guy using it had COVID. <laughs> Who knows? For sure. <laughs> That's great. Well, um, is there anyone in the house? I heard him coming in and out a I, little I bit. I thought so, too. I thought I heard somebody, but maybe not anymore. You know, just usually, if Isaac's out there, he comes in and knocks the camera over. Oh, yeah. So. Is that how you end the show? Usually, knocking the camera over. Mm-hmm. Last time I did it, 
because Isaac wasn't in here and like, it didn't end too well. But like on purpose, like why, yeah. would you, why, why would you end it that way? You're ruining your phone, knocking it over. Yeah, yeah. The bet. I mean, I don't care about the phone that much, but I hit the Mac with the phone, and that made me. That wasn't too great. Uh, I'd like to put like my YouTube. Oh Instagram yeah, up. plug uh, anything you want. Do you? Uh, uh, I don't know if you want to. Like show, like I can send you a picture of each or whatever if you want to put it on the YouTube mm-hmm. part, or I don't yeah. know if you can tag it at the bottom. Yeah, I can put that. it in the. De- I'll put the YouTube in the description, or whatever links you want me to. Okay, and then I guess I'll say it here for people who might just be yeah. Listening. Kringle's adventures. Right? So yeah, so Instagram is actually Adam Kringle. Uh, it says Adam Kringle Rice under it as well, but I guess the at is Adam Kringle. And then YouTube is Kringle's Adventures. Great. So Great. and I, I only got uh, like six videos up, and it's uh, so I do some stuff uh, right now. I just kind of got it started, so I kind of got like about me type videos at the right. beginning, kind of my journey so far. And then uh, the last video I put up was kind of talking about my last week of training leading into this competition. Uh, I got one more video I put up about me. And then I also have a video where I filmed. I'm part of a motorcycle club called the Wanderers, and we had a river down by the river. We had kind of like a, a Wanderers Day, is what they're calling it now, uh, Wanderers Fest. I think is actually what they decided on. Huh. So I got a video of that, and then I got kind of like a uh, funny video I made with one of the members who is trying to raise money for Special Olympics. Yeah, uh, I, think I saw that one. Yeah, that one was yeah. pretty funny. I enjoyed making that one. It was uh, very comical. Um, and I'm going to try to do some more comical videos as well as weightlifting stuff. So if you guys kind of enjoyed any of the information here, which, you know, we didn't really dive super hard into, but I I get a little bit more specific on that stuff and post a lot of stuff with meals and weightlifting and, and stuff like that. So, and I'll be coming up with another one after this competition, you know, with the hopefully videotapes of, of this competition. So awesome. Check it out. Yep. Yep. All links will be in the description for all of your pages copy that cool so yeah awesome thank you so much for coming on the podcast not a problem it was enjoyable it was i did i did like it hopefully we can do it again you know, oh, later on sure. down the road yeah it's yeah fun. yeah i'll i'll definitely come back like once i get to an ending point on my guests i'll definitely like circle back around and okay. come back through you know yeah but I, i'm still lining up quite a few i have I'm doing another one tomorrow um and then I've got one planned for, you know, next month and stuff like yeah, that. You'd so, be busy, man. Yeah, for sure. But I'm not going to have three this week, so I'm going to have three weeks prepared. Nice. You know, nice. so that's nice. Yeah, it'd be, yeah. It'd be pretty nice if you could keep that many, like, locked back. For sure. That'll just give me a good... Now that I got those three, then I can just do one a week and I'll still be three ahead. You know what I mean? Right. So that's... Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, podcast out you want to like kiss before we end this or what like sure (laughs) i was definitely joking (laughs) that can be the thumbnail (laughs) coming in for a kiss there you go